Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be going over some useful tips for Slack. These tips will help you speed up productivity and keep your Slack workspace more organized. There is almost a never ending amount of things you can do for your Slack workspace. We will tackle some of the important ones in this video. If you find this helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more. Let's get started with today's video. Slack Workflows and Automations To use Slack's workflow automation, you will need to be on a paid plan. If you have watched some of my previous videos with Trello and utilizing automations, this is very similar. This helps reduce redundant tasks and automates them. Click your workspace name on the top left of the Slack dashboard. Go to Tools and Workflow Builder. For a simple example in this video, we will add a basic vacation form. When under Workflows, select Create Workflow. For the title, I will add Vacation Request. Here are some of the other ways you can start workflows. There are millions of possibilities and customizations you can make with this. For this, we will select Shortcut. We will select the channel General for this and create the short name as Vacation. Next, you will be asked to add steps. Next, select Add Form. Now fill in this information as required for your business. I will speed through this section quickly. We will add what department you are in, request dates off, and add has a manager approved this time. Once completed, press save. Next, click publish. Back in our general channel, when typing a new message, you will see a lightning bolt on the bottom left now highlighted. Press this. Now select vacation on the very top. You will now be in the form we created earlier. Fill this out quick and press Submit. This will send a DM to the right person selected on the bottom of this workflow, which is myself in this case. There are a lot more templates you can choose from back in the Workflow Builder. Have a look and let me know in the comments which one you find most helpful for your team. Keyboard Shortcuts Keyboard shortcuts with Slack help increase efficiency while using the app. It's always much faster to use your keyboard than to use your mouse. Using your mouse requires you to lift your hands off the keyboard. Pressing Ctrl and question mark brings up the list of shortcuts you can use. You can go through these and see which ones are helpful. Ctrl Shift D hides and unhides the left sidebar. To sort through all of your channels and direct messages, simply hold Alt and use the arrow keys to filter through everything. Next handy shortcut is Ctrl U. Pressing Ctrl U enables you to attach a file quickly. Pressing Ctrl B and Ctrl I is similar to the other programs. This will make text bold or italic in the text you are working on. You can also type in underscores before and after the word to make it italic, like this. Add a star before and after the word to make it bold, like this. You can add a tilde before and after the word to give it a strike through, like this. Pressing Control Shift U will allow you to add links to the chat section. Control Shift E is a quick way to add new people to your workspace. You can also filter through members that are currently on your workspace. There are a lot more shortcuts to sort through. Pressing Control and question mark will give you the full list here. Using Remind. Remind is an amazing feature in Slack. I've been guilty of forgetting things numerous times. Slack definitely helps with this. In one of your channels or direct messages, you can simply type forward slash remind. If you need to send a report or send a file to your team, you can use forward slash remind. Let's add to our e-commerce store one channel to remind us to send social media graphics in three days. Simply type in forward slash remind followed by the message. Slackbot will pop up and tell you that this reminder will be set in three days at 9 a.m. You can also view all reminders here. Clicking View All Reminders will display all the reminders you have upcoming. Third-party integration. Integrating Slack with other apps is a massive time saver. You can add apps like Google Drive, Trello, and a ton more. All you need to do is click on Apps, Add Apps to the bottom left, and click whatever app you're wanting to integrate. It will ask you for authorization to activate this on your account. This is super easy. Customizing notifications. You can customize notifications for every channel that you are a part of. Customizing notifications will be important later on when there are quite a few channels. 
You can toggle off notifications for specific channels and leave notifications on for important channels that you are working in. Under Workspace and Preferences, you can choose what notifications can be triggered. You can add your own keywords for when someone types it, and it will send you a notification. You can turn off notifications when you are sleeping to avoid annoying notifications overnight. Be a Messaging All-Star Messaging on Slack is the key feature. Utilizing it properly with the best shortcuts should be a priority. If you type something on accident and you want to quickly edit it, hold Ctrl and press the up arrow. This will bring you to the message you just sent so you can edit it quickly. In any chat box, you can type forward slash msg at username, and this will send a direct DM to this user. This saves a ton of time instead of trying to sort through all of your contacts. To see all saved messages from contacts, press Control Shift S. This will bring you to a list of all the saved items. You can also add emojis to your last messages with your keyboard. Type in a plus symbol, semicolon, dog, semicolon. This will send a dog emoji in the previous message. Preference and settings setup. Setting up your preferences and settings correctly helps eliminate unwanted distractions, increases productivity, and keeps you more organized. If profile logos are distracting, you can hide them. Click your workspace name on the top left and select preferences. Next under messages and media, you can choose the clean or compact look. If you have people under your channel with the same first names, you can display full names as well under the names section. There are a ton of other options in here for you to change up. Under themes, you can change this to either light or dark, and even create your own customized theme or pick from these templates. That's it for today's video. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments and I can create more in-depth and advanced Slack tutorials. See you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.